Let's find out if we have any life in there. Here's the first tray, and this has all of my black coppers in there, along with a bunch of Australorp mixes. So let's see what's going on. Here we go. So we have some development in here. There's the baby. Can you zoom in? Okay, so if you look right there, you'll see a spot kind of dancing around. So these eggs are, oh, maybe eight days. So this is definitely a developing embryo in there. You can see movement. Super cool, isn't it? Okay, this one has nothing happening in it. So by day eight, seven or eight, we should see veining. We should see something in there, but this one is nothing. So I would say it was probably not fertile to start. This is an example of one of the olive eggers or the Americana, so it's a darker shelled egg. But do you see how we can see, definitely see where the air cell is? And you can see movement in there right now. The more that these develop, the less detail we'll see in those darker eggs. But right now you can even see a little movement. So look at them go, pretty fun. Blank. Well, this is disappointing. And there's the little embryo. See all the veining? This is an example of one that probably started developing and then quit. You can see a line, which we don't have veining, but there's just that line, which is called kind of a blood ring, I believe. So this one didn't make it, I don't think. There's one. See the little embryo down there at the bottom is probably his little eye. Right there. Okay, now we're gonna start on the black coppers and see. Now these are hard to see always because they're so dark, but I see the air cell and I'm seeing some dark happening and if I look really, really close, I can see some veining in there and a spot. So this one is developing, sure seems to be. But these are hard to see through, but that's kind of what you can look for in those. in these dark ones and looking for this shadow the air cell because if they were not fertile and not developing it would just kind of all light up like a light bulb and this is kind of unusual because I'm showing almost all of these actually developing all right that one did you see that if you look at the bottom here, you'll see the air cell. Sometimes these can be a little tricky if you get them in the incubator upside down. And I actually have this one upside down. So by candling, I can see though that I had it the wrong way. So I'm gonna get them flipped around and it should be okay. But the air cell is actually in that end. This egg is kind of round, so it's hard to tell. This one. Do I remember how to put it in there now? That one is probably not fertile and blank, but I do see a little tiny shadow, so I'm gonna let it go for a while. All 
All right, this did not go well. All of those were blanks, which means they are not fertile. They did not develop. So on the first tray, I have 18 that are not fertile and I have 16 that are developing. These are not good odds. And this is just one more strike against that rooster I have. He is not doing a very good job. Here goes tray two. Yay. Ooh, a big vein. A little baby rolling around in there, right in there. Lots of development in these, that's good to see. See the contrast there between one that's developing, one that's developing, and one that's not. They just light up like a light bulb. Oh, there you are. These are rolling around in there. So the results from the first week are about half and half. I set 56 eggs. I have 30 that are developing and I have 26 that were not fertile blanks. And if you look at that, that looks to me like an awful lot of probably my Australorps must not be hanging out with the rooster much at all. I have one leg and hen that um, those are infertile. so. They must not like that rooster at all. And then I have just a couple of the other ones. Looks like a lot of these, these look like from the same hen. So that's one of the Americana hens. Now over here, I'm happy to see the black coppers seem to all be fertile from who is laying. And I do have a couple of these. So that's either an Australor pen or maybe it's Bertha, my dark Cornish. She lays eggs that color. So interesting to see that in my flock i have 26 hens to one rooster and that is not a good ratio you really want to run like one rooster to 12 hens so that also is playing into this i'm sure but i've i've had that in the past and had much better fertility so needless to say i probably am not going to be selling hatching eggs anytime soon with these types of fertility rates but we're going to move on to week two and see how these guys go. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you the next time. Oh, there you are. These are rolling around in there.